I really just didn't think it was a tick. It was just so small. Just thought maybe it was a crumb. Madison, she likes to play outside. We have a play set back there. It's like a little playhouse with a slide, and she was eating a brownie. I was just going to dust it off. My mom instantly pulled it off, and it was a tick. Black-legged ticks, which can carry the bacteria that cause Lyme disease, are quite small. Adults are about the size of sesame seeds, and nymphs are even tinier. They're about the size of a poppy seed. It was so small, I didn't know they could be so tiny. I didn't think that it would be a concern. I just didn't think it would happen out there. And it definitely is serious. There are things you can do to prevent tick bites. It's important to use an EPA-registered repellent, wear long sleeve shirts and pants, buy clothes that are pre-treated with permethrin, or you can buy the spray and treat your own clothes. And you can also shower within two hours of coming indoors to help wash off any ticks that are not attached. Children are more at risk for tick bites because they are lower to the ground. Ticks are most likely to be in brushy, grassy, or wooded areas. But it is important to remember that ticks can bite in the lawn or in the garden. After coming indoors, be sure to look for ticks. We do recommend doing a head-to-toe tick check. Start with the head, check in the hair, behind the ears. Ticks like to crawl towards the belly button or armpits. So check all those areas and then move systematically down the body. It's important to get the tick off as soon as possible. You can actually remove the tick yourself. Grab the tick either with tweezers or your fingers at the base where it's attached to the skin and pull with gentle, steady pressure away from the skin. A tick bite is high risk for Lyme disease if the bite was caused by a black-legged tick, if the tick is engorged, meaning it's full of blood, that indicates it's been attached for at least a day or two, and the bite happened in an area where Lyme disease is common. Within those geographic areas, anyone who spends time outdoors can get tick bites that lead to Lyme disease. There is a possibility to prevent Lyme disease after a tick bite. Situations of a high-risk tick bite, a single dose of an antibiotic called doxycycline lowers the risk of Lyme disease, and this is safe for patients of all ages, including children. We took her to the doctor and gave her some antibiotics, and it's better to be safe than sorry. Even after taking doxycycline, it's important to continue to look for signs of Lyme disease. If your child develops a fever or a rash, be sure to check with their healthcare provider. I worry about a lot more. I'm always looking for them on my daughter and quick to remove them if I do find any. They're so small that you could easily miss them. I just want her to be careful. You and your family can work together to help prevent Lyme disease and keep your kids healthy.